On this edition of Visual Studio Toolbox, we're going to see how to create a new branch. And then we're going to see how to use a pull request to merge the code in that branch into the master or main branch. Hi, welcome to Visual Studio Toolbox. I'm your host, Robert Green. And this episode is episode number three of our five part mini series on getting started with GitHub. Previously, we created a project in Visual Studio and then created a GitHub repository from that code. And then in the last episode, we started making code changes and saw that multiple people could make code changes and everybody pushes their code up to the remote repository sitting in GitHub. We also saw that you can keep your local repository in sync by doing a pull. Today, in this episode, we're going to look at working with branches. Now. So far, we've been working with the master branch or the main branch, and all the code is just going into that single branch. Sometimes you might want to create a new branch to work with code. Why might you want to do that? Well, let's say you're working on uh, some code. You don't know if it's really going to work, so you don't want to check code into master that's not going to work. Or maybe this is going to take several days or weeks uh, to really figure out, and you don't want to be constantly committing and pushing code into master until it's ready to go in. So that's a good reason to create a branch. So let's pop over to Visual Studio and see how you do that. So I can go to Git, and I can choose New Branch. Or from the Manage Branches window, I can also right-click on Master and choose New Local Branch From. and we're going to create a new branch. So I've been tasked with creating math functions. And you can't have spaces in your branch names. And this is a brand new feature in Visual Studio 2022 17.6. Visual Studio will add the dash for you. Prior to this, you couldn't create. So that's a nice feature. You can take the dash, or if you don't like the dash, you can just get rid of it. So let's create a branch called math functions, which I can see is now the currently active branch. It's bolded here, down here in the right in the status bar, it says math functions. And I can switch back and forth from math functions to master just by selecting down there or double clicking over in here. Okay, so now math functions is the active branch. So now I'm going to create some code. I'm going to add a class. I'm going to add the math class. And inside the math class, I am going to do it correctly. I am going to add an add method. So internal int add. So int x1 equals 1 int x2 equals 2, int oops, sum equals x1 plus x2, and return sum. OK, look at that. That is beautiful. That is beautiful code. All right, so now what I'm ready to do is commit that. So I will add a message added math class with add method. And I'm going to commit it to the math functions branch. And I'm also going to do it not just locally, but I'm going to push it to GitHub. So I'll choose commit all and push, which will send this up to GitHub, create that new branch math functions, and add the code in there. So let me commit all and push. OK. And now, if I go to GitHub and I look in the math functions branch, sometimes you have to wait a second or refresh for it to show up. There's the math functions branch. And I look at the math class. And for some reason, it doesn't always actually send my code up. I'm not 100% sure why. Uh, method. Let me just add that. Added add method. Okay, save, commit all and push. Okay, now it worked. And I can see that it worked because this code tip tells me that less than five minutes ago, Robert made a change. If 
I click that, it tells me that this was added. Cool. There's two changes here. I added the math class and then I added again to get the code to actually show up. I haven't quite figured out why that happens, but it's easy to get around. So if I come back to GitHub and I'm looking in the math functions branch, there's my code. Now, if I switch back to master, that code does not exist because it's only in the math functions branch. And the same is true in Visual Studio. If I go and look at my master branch, I don't have the math class because it's only in math functions. Okay, so now I've worked on this code. It's perfect. I'm ready to move it into the master branch. How do I do that? That's what a pull request is for, or colloquially known as a PR. And the pull request is the method we use to take the code from a branch and move it into the master or main branch. So in Visual Studio, I'm just gonna click create a pull request. That creates the pull request and that brings me out to GitHub. Now notice that Git has already looked and seen that we can now do this merge. It said the code you wrote doesn't interfere with any code anybody else has written, so this is mergeable. Now you get to decide how much process you want around pull requests. You have the ability to assign reviewers. You might require code reviews. You have the ability to assign this to someone who may be the person that talks to you to see what you're doing. You may decide that since you're the only one working on this, that there is no process. Or maybe the senior developers don't need reviewers and assignees, but the junior ones or maybe the vendors do. Or if this is an open source project like .NET, Microsoft, you can be sure, has a ton of process around that to work with you, to review your code, to make sure that the code you wrote is something that they actually want to be put into .NET. So you get to decide how much process you want to manage pull requests. For our purpose here, we're going to have no process at all. We're going to create the pull request. Git once again checks. Um, I still have the ability to set up some process, but I'm just going to say, let's go for it. I'm going to merge the pull request. I'm going to confirm the merge. And then the code gets written from math functions into master. Now I can delete the branch if I want to. Some people like to, to keep the repositories short and sweet or, or efficient. Other people don't bother deleting. That's an option that you can do. So now, if we come back over to the code and we look in master, here's the math class with the code. And once again, we come over to Visual Studio and we go to master. Even though I wrote the code and I created the pull request and I approved the pull request, I do not have that code in my local copy of master. I have to ask for it by doing a pull. So I'm gonna now pull down the changes I just sent to GitHub. And now in my master, I have the code. And if I go and look at my branch history, I can see that I created math functions and then I did a pull request to move that code into master. So what we've seen in this demo is that you can create a new branch to work on code. And then when it's ready to be moved into the master or main branch, then you can create a pull request that may or may not have process attached to it. And the pull request is how you get code from a branch that you've been working on into the main or master branch. If you're watching on YouTube and you like this, please like us, share with your friends, and come back for episode four, where we're gonna look to see what happens if two people write code that conflict. How do you resolve that? We'll see you next time on Visual Studio Toolbox. Thank you.